Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss a cylinder section of solid. A cylinder of diameter 40 mm and height 60 mm is having its axis vertical. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degree to HP. The plane bisects the axis of the cylinder. Draw its front view, sectional top view and true shape of section. Whenever you are reading the question, first you have to identify what is the top and front view of a solid. Here the axis is vertical. So if the axis of a cylinder is vertical, our top view will be a circle, front view will be a rectangle. So we will proceed our answer as a top view uh, is a circle and diameter of the circle is 40 mm. Then you can divide the circle into 8 divisions even you can go for uh, 12 divisions for better uh, result better accurate answer in the uh, true shape of section so i am preferring uh, 8 divisions you can give a notations even if you want to give continuous notations like a a1 b b1 c c1 d d1 e e1 uh, now we are very familiar with this notation so i am just skipping the intermediate divisions a b c d is the base of the cylinder base circle of the cylinder a1 b1 c1 d1 is the top face of the cylinder top circle of the cylinder so what is the axis height axis height is 60 mm we can draw an axis and complete a rectangle in the front view as an observer you are standing here this a b c will be visible from here but what about this uh, D1 and D. It is invisible from here. That's why this D dash is marked in the bracket. Similarly, D1 dash in the bracket. Okay. So, this is the simple position of a solid cylinder. Now, we have to read the condition of section plane. Keep it in your mind. Always draw the simple position in thin lines. Now, I know the answer this entire circle going to be visible that's why I started with a thick line for you people uh, as a student you always start your uh, simple position as a thin line unless if you know the answer you can start with thick lines okay now it is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP inclined at 30 degree to HP inclined at 30 degree to hp the question is the plane bisects the axis of the cylinder what do you mean by bisecting the axis of cylinder is midpoint just if you are uh, bisecting the axis of cylinder means it is traveling through the midpoint of the axis okay so 60 uh, midpoint is 30 mm through that uh, 30 mm you have to draw a section plane 30 degree inclined to HP through this midpoint of the axis okay now you can shift this thin inclined 30 degree line to a section plane the topmost is the removed portion and bottom of is the remaining portion we can convert the remaining portion of the solid into a thick lines being a cylinder here only the boundary surface will be visible there is no intermediate edges it is purely for our convenient we divided into few number of divisions so don't uh, convert this intermediate projectors into divisions into thick lines now this is the section plane now you can identify the cutting points of a section plane here it is the first cutting point one dash if you extend a projector this is one correspondingly the next cutting point of a section plane is here on the axis on the axis this is nothing but a b b1 dash b b1 dash this section plane is cutting where is b b1 this is b b1 as i said there is no intermediate edges in the cylinder only the boundary that's why 2 is marked exactly at the boundary of the circle next one is this point c dash c1 dash it is 3 dash we extend a projector correspondingly it is 3 
then uh, once again we are having one more uh, side like d1 d on the axis so we can make it as four dash it is invisible from here this d d1 is invisible from here in the front view that's why four dash is represented in the bracket now you extend the projector this is point number four now you have to convert this join one two three four by means of thick lines as i said already i aware of the answer that's why i started with a thick line in the top view now we can do a hatching and we can complete sectional top view this is our sectional top view of a cylinder after completing sectional top view the remaining part of the question is we have to identify true shape of section you can extend uh, you have to draw a parallel plane of projection parallel to the section plane parallel to the section plane you have to draw plane of projection which is x1 y1 x1 y1 is the parallel plane of projection parallel to section plane then you extend the perpendicular projectors you must ensure this blue line this perpendicular projector must be right angled to this x1 y1 90 degree to this x1 y1 from each and every cutting point of section plane you extend a perpendicular projector after extending a perpendicular projector you have to convert this uh, cutting points of section plane on this perpendicular projectors this is one dash projector so you can keep this point as center and this one distance as radius this point a dash as center one as radius keep your compass here and fix where is one one okay next point is two dash so two you have to measure the distance from x y from x y what is the distance of two and reproduce the same distance on the two dash projector likewise from x y what is the distance of 3 on the 3 dash projector you have to complete 3 1 finally it is 4 you have to uh, measure the distance from x y to the distance of 4 and reproduce the same on the 4 dash projector now 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 is identified for our uh, convenience we can extend the intermediate divisions this intermediate divisions it will help us to draw uh, an ellipse as a true shape of section in a accurate way okay even uh, if you want to represent this distance like if you measure there are two points one is this one in between one and two like this one one and two one and in between one and four you are having another intermediate point so in between one and so you can uh, extend you measure the distance from x y to this distance and place your compass here on the x y on the x1 y1 and you can mark a point here similarly you can mark one more point on this projector it will help you to draw a true shape of section in a perfect way so this is the true shape of section of a cylinder now we can do a hatching this is sectional top view and this is true shape of section this is the final answer of this question so make sure that the number of divisions will help you to draw a smooth surface of true shape of section most you can prefer eight divisions it will be uh, more than enough to obtain the smooth surface of a true shape in the final answer so like this uh, video you can share the same with your friends